Hey there and welcome. In this short video, I want to just demonstrate how useful a thyristor can be and just some basic um, principles of how to use them as switches. I recently started working on a coil gun and needed to use thyristors as a switch because using a regular switch results in melting of the contacting surfaces of the switch and a thyristor overcomes that and ha these devices have commonly been used in other people's coil gun projects. And uh, one of the ones that seemed like an interesting choice was this one. That's the uh, serial number for it, actually the uh, device number. And it's got a pretty good rating and if you parallel these devices up you can get much higher ratings that can be used successfully in coil guns where you have a short burst of very high current. So that was my plan was to take a bunch of these since they're cheap, they're like two or three dollars each and then connect them up in parallel to give me something that could handle a much bigger current surge and that's providing they all turn on at the same time and that's what we, that's the assumption that's being made here. So um, uh, here's a little circuit that I put together for this video. It's basically a 12 volt battery, lead acid battery connected to a 12 volt bulb and when 2 to 300 milliamps is applied to the gate by that 9 volt battery and 47 ohm resistor that turns the device on and once it's turned on it stays on and to turn it off you either disconnect the 12 volt battery or you short out A1 and A2 which turns off the current flow across them and then turns off the device and that's one of the things that they're so useful uh, for in terms of being switches and you can actually uh, use them in things like dimmer switches and a lot of household items use them um, because of this property and uh, the one I have here there's a whole bunch of them uh, that I ordered uh, here and um, it has uh, that's the, the terminal markings of it so I want to put uh, positive 9 volts on the uh, gate via a 40 to 60 ohm resistor which should be a, give me enough current to turn on current flow between A1 and A2. So let's demonstrate that in this short experiment. So what I have here is the 12 volt battery, 12 volt bulb, uh, the thyristor and there's the connections A1 and A2. A1 goes to the negative of the battery, A2 goes to the positive of the battery, the gate goes to a 9 volt battery, the positive of a 9 volt battery, and A1 goes to the negative of the 9 volt battery via a 47 ohm resistor. So let's test that out. So uh, what I have here is a connection to my 9 volt battery and I'm going to touch that to the gate briefly to turn on the switch so let's do that and there we have it in the on position and it stays on when I remove this it's still on and in order to uh, turn it off I disconnect the power now I've connected back and the power still remains off briefly touch the gate again and that turns it on and I just want to demonstrate shorting out A1 and A2 to turn it off. So I'm just going to use the wire of the transistor, of the uh, resistor to turn it off. So there you go, it's off. And to turn it back on, touch the gate, turn it off, short them out again. There you go. And uh, that demonstrates the use, uh, one use of this device. And um, these are, you know, as I mentioned, four junction devices that um, in wide use and uh, I plan to connect them up and I'll show you how they work in, in my next video where I'm using them in a coil gun. So uh, stay tuned and I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks for watching.